Hello there, welcome back to you four. Ah. Last time we fought a war against England, Scotland, and Desmond. Well, we fought one war against England and then fought a war against uh, Desmond. Uh, we beat the crap out of them and Spain declared a holy war on us. Which, uh, you know, we're gonna have to go fight that. It's no biggie though, because our military is much more powerful than theirs. But, um, you know, it's going to take a while. I need to trap his uh, troops in uh, North Africa like I did with the French because uh, they have a wee bit too many. If I want to win the war, if I don't want to lose the war, I need to not do anything. But I kind of want to win that war. So, here you go. Now, uh, Sweden is sieging down my capital. That's quite unfortunate. And please tell me I'm going to catch these. Oh, fuck. Fuck all kinds of duck. I am not. Oh, I might. But we'll have to see. No, I did catch the Spanish, though. So. Oh, hi there, hipster f hipster Judge Flory of the Amsterdaminian Court. Amsterdaminian Court. Well. I wouldn't mind being a, a judge of the Amsterdaminian Court. That seems like a proper good job. Right, so let's, uh sortie here because otherwise I'm afraid that they'll succeed. They were on 35% after all. And uh, we'll equip ourselves a nice leader there. And this is going to clean up itself in a relatively timely fashion. Now we did beat up the thingy navy here, the Portuguese navy, but we I mean the Spanish navy, but we didn't kill a heck of a lot of them. Which is unfortunate, and I lost my suicide chips, so, but whatever. So they killed them before we arrived, but the siege is going to finish in five days, and we're going to arrive in four. So he's not going to be able to get that tick done, thankfully. And hopefully, uh, you know, he's going to crash into me here. That would be really nice. But he's going to try to get back into the Irish Sea. Am I going to catch him? I am! Fantastic! Finally catch that Portuguese Navy. That's gonna be very good for us. That's going to make you fall over. That is totally going to make you fall over. How about that? That's better. Alright! Be able to squish these. Oh no. Okay. That's good to fix itself, I think. And these Portuguese, please let me just sink everything now. I mean, it's been. It's been a while, so I'd like it if those guys were to die. Right. Those are going to be two squishes for sure. Oh, come on. Really? <clears throat> well, at least that's another ten, uh, uh, three less heavies to worry about. Yeah, these wars always take such a long time, because... Well, no, not in terms of, like, actual years, but in terms of playtime, they take a really long time. Because it's a lot of, you know, back and forth shit. Hold on, where's my lighter? Where's my lighter? So I'm playing a Mexican? No, I'm playing a, uh, well, I suppose technically a Mexican now. It's still very much a uh, Piman culture though, so I'm technically an Indian. Is it one faith or one faith? <laughs> ah! Ah, that's a good one. Now, I wonder if he made this into states. He probably did, the bastard. So it's gonna be quite expensive to full annex him. Lazy cores, yeah, you know, I don't have the, uh, oh, I suppose I do. Desmond is really expensive to core because he picked aristocratic ideas like a dum-dum. I still have a lot of transport ships left. Alright. 
Great, so we'll be putting you on top of our capital for now. Now, Morocco, would you be willing to give me fleet basing rights? Ah! Fantastic. So it's time to get this biggie washed. This is actually pretty hot. We to climb out of this thing. Um, let's see here. How are we going to do this exactly? Ten k should be more than enough to deal with any people that want to land on top of my face. There's another Portuguese navy. I don't know what he's planning to do. I mean, this this has been the same shit again and again and again. It's like he lands units and then I go kill them. That's basically what's been happening. I mean, it's giving me ticking war score, so. North American Hazar, yeah, I know. But, uh, you know, there's this thing where, you know, I'm playing as a Native American that's smarter than the Europeans, so any kind of historical shit just went out the window, you know. Like, I, I might be able to catch these somehow. It would be really nice, because I really do want to wreck that Navy a new asshole. It seems like they're programmed to, like, if I, what if I do like that? Like, if they're two sea zones apart, then they'll, uh... Like, there's no way I can ever catch these. Because they're too derpy about things. Like, maybe if I got myself, like, a... You know what I'm gonna do? Fuck it. I'm just gonna split my navy up so I can catch him. Because even with eight uh, heavies, we should be able to kick him in the balls. Ugh. You think you're hot shit now, is it? Or Tabola. It's not super fast though, it's just really stupid because it... Well, it's not stupid, it's really clever, but the AI is like a, this perfect calculating machine. It's also omniscient, so it can see my navy wherever it is, whenever, and that's making it really difficult to catch it. Nigh impossible, which you know, it's, it's like it's a good thing that the AI is good like that, but it sucks that they're able to see like the AI doesn't see fog of war. Well, they do, they kind of don't. I don't really know how to explain that. It's just like if you turn fog of war off, I mean, uh, Terra Incognita, then they'll you know, ally everything. I don't think they have fog of war, I don't think they've got fog of war, but they do have Terra Incognita. I don't think the AI has fog of war, so everything, like, they'll see your navy, wherever it is, always. And they'll know, like, if it's, if it's one day, you know, if it's off the coast of the Cape, 
and you know they'll see its travel path so they'll be like okay so it's moving from broken ceylon to uh, Arguin, so it's going to be at the Cape on the, uh, you know, fucking 6th of July. And our ships can reach them if we do this and this and this and that. And then we'll be able to fight them in the coast of Namibia on the uh, 10th of uh, August. You know, something like that. They'll know that. This is why you can't, you, you know, you, you have to have your navy in a stack that can beat every other navy in the world. Because the uh, uh, because the omniscient AI will always be able to catch it, find it, kill it with fire and death and destruction and all those things. So. That's just light ships. I don't. I really don't care. So, would you be willing to give me access? You would. Fantastic. And we can core another province. Also convert something. Oh. Let's actually convert something we can convert. So shouldn't we want to convert Lothian? Ah, we would, but we can't uh, can't do that. Also Sweden. Ah, man. <laughs> you just don't know when to give up, do you? It's like they always land like troops like that. It's fucking silly. Because all they ever really do is die. But they keep landing their, their 9,000 stack or their 6,000 stack. Uh, I did. It's a uh, Nahuatl proletization. I don't know if you need to own Cholula for that, though, but. Uh... I got that decision already. I got the plus two. And you can get an extra missionary for owning Cholula. Now the Spaniards are coming. Um, if this army stops uh, moving down here, then I can bring the... Then the second army is going to be like, oh, I need to move down there. So the plan here is to you know, wait until they're in Gibraltar, then block them off, and then the second stack will arrive. Soon enough. I bet you three nickels and a dime. He's going right there. But first, we have to trap the first uh, Spanish army, or rather, um, no, block it off, stop it from moving, and then the second one will come across. He's coming. It won't be long now. Do we have enough admin? No. Because I'm pretty sure Scotland's more than. Uh, Pretty sure Scotland's more than 50%. That is really unfortunate. I'm gonna check if Scotland's more than 50%. Because that's so stupid. Oh my god, of course they're more than 50%. Who am I even kidding? So I need to go kill these then. Rebels in occupied territory are the greatest rebels alive. Yay! Rebels in occupied territory are the greatest rebels alive. Yay! <laughs> Alright, looks like he's not coming. I thought he was. He might still be coming, but he would have been here by now.
You know what, maybe we can piece out Portugal, that should also help. We might even be able to win properly if that's the case. Already got 50% on them. Alright. And are we fighting Sweden? No. Not yet. That kind of worries me. But it's. Ah, what? Shit, I didn't notice. Fuck me then. They must have they must have snuck fast. Cause this is the same stack that was moving in this direction. No no. Oh we're gonna escape. We pulled a dunker clats! We did it! Still 38k left though. But 38k is more than beatable. It's just that uh, it would have been nicer if it were less than this. Less than that. Problematic. Eight heavy should still be fine. What's the war goal with Spain? It's holy war, so we have to show superiority and win more battles than they do. See the omniscient AI knows immediately that my heavy ships are all alone here. It's, it's whatever. But we're going to catch them here and uh, smack them in the balls right and steady. Right and steady. Steady as she goes. Steady as she goes. I'm gonna smack them in the, in the, in the ball sack. Yes. <laughs> the people on Noob Island learned that you don't turn the sunset invasion. <laughs> ah, let's go sink some of his ships again. I'm not gonna kill a whole lot though, because I've only got eight uh, heavy ships this time. Okay, never mind. Never mind, we killed a sizable stack there. Now, Burgundy, would you be willing to give me access or something? No. Would France? France would. I like how Portugal is still on the high.
Like, if I can land my entire army in France right now, I can beat him, but it's easier said than done. Especially with these pesky Portuguese and Swedes constantly, um... Constantly attacking my shit. And I can't just ignore it, because then they'll siege up my entire homeland, right? sure he's gonna go to Honduras. I'm gonna get a call for peace on Scotland soon, but I can't, uh, you know, take his shit out without having... Without having those, uh, the, the shit cord, I don't think. Let me just check. How much overextension this is going to be. It's not like Call for Peace happens that much. Oh, hold on. I uh, really want to take this shit. I don't want it to get like a foothold there. So that's actually only going to be 60, 63%. I really want to take this out because it's one of those... Um, it's one of those important centers of reformation. Yeah, so this will work. That's 61.6. Oh yeah, we'll be fine. Yeah, if a province is uh, occupied, you don't get any income or manpower from it. So, you, you can just, like, you, if you're really big, then you can just let them siege up your land for a bit, because, like, it doesn't really matter, but if... You know, I'm not that big. I'm also losing money, so I don't want them to siege down my provinces, because then I'll make even less. And that, ladies and gentlemen, would mean very bad days, eventually. Yeah, this blows ass. I would have been able to get both of them. Whatever. Right now I'm thinking maybe we can uh, unload our units. Actually, you know what? This is too risky. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna land them in the Straits of uh, in Picardy and then hope that uh, they're gonna take too long to actually... Would you give me access? No. Whatever. I'm just gonna land them in France. Then I can land them in two settings. I think. I hope. I don't know. I can try though. It's worth a shot. Right, so we got cork down. Is that uh, good enough? Nope. Need one more. He's coming straight away, we need to bail. That isn't gonna work. I could try sieging this then. It's 
It's not any of the land I want, but I could seat it down. I could make it be the land that I want. <laughs> I could pretend I really want this land. I need to siege it down anyway, and that would give me enough time to bring two armies there, so we'll do that. Besides, it's a ridiculous amount of forts anyway, so we may as well start sieging that down. I mean, it's, it's free war score. And they won't get access through France, so they can't exactly do anything about it. Can't cancel access whilst they still have forces there, though. <laughs> we might be able to trap this army as well, actually, if we ask access through Savoy. And put our army in here, and then wait until he enters Savoy, and then cancel the access through France. Uh -huh. ah. Holy shit, that might actually work. I will try that, just because it would be incredibly funny. <laughs> like, wait until he enters Savoy and then, you know, cancel the access through France and then he's gonna be stuck in Savoy. I did that before on Gazi Kamuk and the Ryuku to Rome uh, playthrough. Come on, how did you miss these? For crying out loud. You have to be pretty damn stupid to miss those. Maybe they siege down two provinces and I'm just a little blind. That could also be the case. I mean, yeah, I'm wearing glasses after all, so, you know. Oh, this would be so funny if it worked. Please let it work. Oh my god, it would be so funny. I really want this to work now. Yeah, he's coming. He's coming and I can cancel the access and move my units back into the fleet. I don't know exactly when he's going to leave though, but then his army is going to be stuck in Savoy, so I can safely siege down the rest. Glory, worry, trapping army since 2014. <laughs> You don't need to be stronger than the Europeans to beat them. Also, how was this on the... Because I just finished another core, right? So how was this on the whole... Um... Well, I can get I can get it now. I need to check if I can... Uh, if I don't get like a massive coalition if I piece them out like right now. I would, but I wouldn't if I wait like a full year. I'd have to improve relations with the Pope a little bit. No, not send an insult, you idiot. Improve the relations. There you go. And we need a free diplomat to cancel the access on France, because then we know that they'll have entered Savoy, this province. So this button's gonna light up when they arrive, and then we... Uh, then we run away. Oh, he's gonna kill my units. Because I'm not going to arrive on time. But at least he's stuck in Savoy now forever, so... Here's that. We might be able to run away. Like, I don't think he's going to wipe it. 